Sui Tong Yi is master of Sui Xing Quan. He started practicing Kung Fu at the age of eight, and that was 70 years ago. He has kept the habit of boxing in the early morning and saw play at afternoon all these years. Xing Yi Quan is one of the Chinese Han nationality traditional boxing. It is similar to Tai Chi, but also bears some differences. Xing Yi Quan tend to be more concise and direct. The moves are considered more practical. Speed is a key of throwing a punch. People can't even tell how you did it after they have been hit. It has to be fast. Xing Yiquan is known as bold and powerful. Its main component, the 12 posture based on the characteristics of 12 animals. Soaring like a dragon, fierce like a tiger, clever like a monkey, agile like a swallow, aggressive like a hawk, ferocious like an eagle, etc. Xing Yiquan is rich in content. His boxing routines including five effective attacking methods. He, Feng, Zuan, Hao, Peng, named after the five vital elements, wind, wood, water, fire, and earth. Charging through and being unstoppable, that is when your Kung Fu reached certain level, you could win fights without much effort. Chinese Kung Fu always pays attention to basic training. Persistence is the key of progress. Sui Tong Yi at age 40 began to take students and teach Wu Shu skills. Now he has more than 80 apprentices. Every morning at 6 o'clock, the practitioners of Tianjin Sui Xing Yi Quan gather together to practice. Year after year, never stop. If you can't be persistent, you better not start. It's unbearable practicing on the hottest dog days and the coldest Sanjiu Tian. Xing Yi Quan requires a lot of hard work. It takes two or three years to learn the basics. While resting, apprentices often ask questions about Xing Yi Quan practicing. The weight looks small, but weighs a ton. The question is, can you give it? I have been practicing for almost 20 years. I think I'm going to keep going. I will make sure to pass it on. I hope they will make great effort. Sui Tong Yi's swordsmanship is as good as his boxing. He is known as the sword genius. The Longquan sword he inherited from his father has been with him for nearly half a century. An old sword not only witnessed two generations' perseverance and love for Xing Yi Quan, it also represents the warm of traditional martial arts people ties of blood, loyalty, and companionship. Li Ruilin is a writer specializing in wushu research in Tianjin area. On this occasion, he especially came to visit Sui Tong Yi with his recently published book. Sui Tong Yi, equally fascinated with Wu Shu, took out and shared with Li Ruilin his boxing spectrum and old photos that he has treasured for years and hardly showed to anybody. Looking at this, I'm hoping young people could learn from the older generations for their moral principles and righteousness, so the essence of traditional culture can be carried on. Sui Tong Yi has been practicing Wu Shu since childhood with his father's expertise. He represents the traditional Chinese Wu Shu bloodline culture. Seventy years of perseverance, all he wanted is to hand down the old martial arts skill and the wisdom from generation to generation, TJTV World.